Hey, I'm Vinny. My son is at the age where he's obsessed with trash trucks, uh, so we got him this ride-on trash truck. Uh, it's great, except it didn't come with a reverse. It can only go forward, which eh, kind of sucks. So I added a little switch that allows it to go forward or backwards. Uh, it wasn't too hard to do, and I'm going to show you how I did it. I got a switch from Amazon, link in the description. It's a DPDT switch, double pole, double throw. This one comes with wires, but some of them don't and you'd need to solder on wires. This is how the switch needs to be wired up. And this is what it looks like with all the wires attached. The wires that came with the switch were too short, so I soldered on more wire to make them longer. Alternatively, you could use wire nuts or Wago connectors. I marked the spot where I wanted to mount the switch. I 3D printed a little template, but you could just use calipers or a tape measure. Then I cut out the hole. A utility knife worked for me, but a rotary tool or saw might have been faster, if not messier. I then fed the wires through the hole. But I didn't mount the switch yet because I wanted to connect the wires and make sure forward was pointing up. I drilled a hole on the bottom of the vehicle to feed the wires through so they'd be kind of out of the way better. And I fed the wires through. Here's the motor and the wires going to the motor. I cut these wires because that's where the switch needs to be wired up to. I estimated how long I needed the switch wires to be and then cut them to size. Then I soldered the switch wires to the motor wires like I showed before. Again, you could use wire nuts or Wago connectors instead, but soldering makes a more secure connection and looks better. Then I did some wire management by drilling holes along the path of the wires, but I forgot to turn on the camera for that. Oops. And I fed zip ties through the holes to secure the wires to the underside of the vehicle. I did a little test to make sure forward was up, and then I pressed the switch all the way into the hole. And I was done. There you go. Wasn't too hard to do. It didn't take me too long. And now this thing is a lot more functional, I think. It, it goes forward, go backwards. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, I can kind of fit. Let's hit this thing a little bit. <laughs> Doesn't handle my weight. <laughs>